Canola oil is a commonly used type of cooking oil. It's derived from the seed of the canola plant, which North American farmers have been growing for about 30 years now. The plant blooms in the summer, producing bright yellow flowers. Farmers harvest the seeds from pods, which form after those flowers die off. Canola oil is one of the healthiest cooking oils. Compared to olive, sunflower, and soybean oils, it has the lowest level of saturated fat, 7%. It also contains more healthy omega-3 fatty acids and is high in monounsaturated fat, which lowers cholesterol. When the canola seed arrives at the processing factory, it contains foreign material, mostly plant pieces. So the first step is to clean the seed in a vibrating sieve. The seeds, smaller than the openings in the sieve's mesh, fall through to a conveyor below. The foreign material remains on top. A conveyor moves it to a storage bin, where it's collected for sale as cattle feed. The seeds pass by a magnet. It removes any metal that may have fallen in during the journey from field to factory. Next, the seeds enter a roller mill. They pass between two steel rollers, which crush them into thin flakes. A conveyor then feeds the flakes into a screw press. It has a large revolving screw-shaped shaft enclosed within a slotted cage. As the shaft turns, its threads squeeze the flakes with high pressure, forcing out the oil, which then drains out through the slots. 42% of canola seed is oil. This screw press extracts nearly three quarters of that. The remainder is still trapped in the pressed flakes, now referred to as canola cake. The cake exits the other end of the press and moves on to a second extraction. This one, a 70 minute wash with a solvent. This chemical extraction process removes all but a trace of oil. The factory then grinds the cake into protein-rich meal that it sells as animal feed. The extracted oil, stored in large tanks, now enters the refining phase. First, they wash the oil for 20 minutes with sodium hydroxide. During this wash cycle, they spin the oil at high speed so that the centrifugal force separates the natural impurities, which the factory later sells to soap manufacturers. After this cleaning process, the canola oil is visibly clearer. However, it still contains natural waxes, which makes it look cloudy. So the next step is to cool the oil to 41 degrees Fahrenheit. This thickens those waxes so that they can be filtered out. The waxes don't go to waste either. The factory uses them to produce vegetable shortening. In the factory's lab, technicians recreate production on a small scale to ensure performance and quality. Meanwhile, back in the factory, after washing and filtering the oil, they bleach it to lighten the color, then use a steam injection heating process to remove the canola odor. The oil is now fully refined and ready for bottling. 